are very sobering. Each year, about 8,700 healthcare workers are infected with hepatitis B, and each year, about 200 of them die from it. Hepatitis B and AIDS are called bloodborne diseases because the organisms that cause them are carried in blood. Bloodborne pathogens pose a special threat to healthcare workers and to other people who come in contact with blood and certain body fluids while doing their jobs. Hepatitis B affects the liver. It is a very serious disease and is the greatest infectious bloodborne hazard for healthcare workers. For some, hepatitis B often causes chronic, lifelong medical problems. In the worst case, the disease is fatal and there is no cure. But there is a safe, effective vaccine against hepatitis B. Your employer is required to provide it at no cost to you. All occupationally exposed workers should be vaccinated. Defend yourself from hepatitis B and avoid pain and illness. The virus that causes hepatitis B is called HBV. Even the tiniest traces of blood can be contaminated. One milliliter of blood may contain 100 million infectious doses of the hepatitis B virus. The bloodborne pathogens are transmitted in human blood and other potentially infectious materials such as semen, vaginal secretions, and saliva in dental procedures. These bloodborne pathogens have not been shown to be transmitted by sweat, tears, urine, or feces. But remember, these substances can also be mixed with blood. For healthcare workers, the most common risk of exposure is by needle stick injury. Exposure can also happen when blood or other potentially infectious materials touch the eyes, nose, or mouth. Finally, exposure can occur if contaminated blood or other potentially infectious materials come in contact with dermatitis, open sores, or nicks and cuts on the skin. Bloodborne pathogens pose very real life-threatening dangers. You must treat all blood or other potentially infectious materials as if it were infectious. We call this taking universal precautions. And universal precautions must become a part of how you do your job. For your own safety, treat all blood as if it contained bloodborne pathogens. Federal regulations have been issued by OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration. The regulations cover anyone who has reasonably anticipated skin, eye, mucous membrane, or parenteral contact with blood or other potentially infectious materials resulting from the performance of his or her duties. If your work brings you in contact with blood or other potentially infectious materials, you're covered by the Bloodborne Pathogen Standard, which is Title 29 of the Code of Federal Regulations, Part 1910.1030. It contains complete and comprehensive rules requiring such things as exposure control plans, free hepatitis B vaccinations for workers with occupational exposure, rules for training and record keeping, special rules for research laboratories, and appropriate medical follow-up after an exposure incident. That's very important. If you do have an exposure incident, report it promptly to protect yourself. A confidential medical record, separate from other personnel records, must be developed for such incidents. The regulations ensure confidentiality and medical follow-up. One other thing you must know. These precautions are not just a good idea. These precautions are mandatory. These precautions are the law.